In today's episode, I am showing you something that so many of you have requested so many times, my meditation room. So if you want to see what's in my meditation room, the special little things that I have in there, well, stay tuned and watch. Alexandra Villarreal Abrego and I welcome you to another episode of Alexandra TV. Now today's episode is about the meditation room. I'm finally going to show you what's inside of my meditation room. If you haven't watched our what's in my altar video, my altar tour, make sure you also watch it because that's something that's inside of the meditation room. Now before we get started, if you know, here Alexandra TV, it's a personal development channel. It's a growth channel, which is why we've created the AVA Pyramid and the AVA Wheel of the Year, two concepts where you get to always see what's your next level and how you can reach a higher level. If you want to download these two posters for free, just go in the description below this video and you'll be able to find the links right there. So now, well, let's begin, right? Just follow me. All right, so let's go into this meditation room here. And we're going to start on this wall here where I keep all of my favorite books. So really all of the spiritual books, metaphysical books, esoteric books, which is really something that fascinates me. This is where I like to keep them. So here we have a lot of them. Here we can find, uh, you know, When God Was a Woman, a classic that I always talk about. We can find The Chalice and the Blade. We can find uh, Sun Tzu for Women, The Revelations of the Aquarius Age. We can find You Can Heal Your Life from Louise Hay, a classic. You know, we can find a lot of different books here. On this side right here of the meditation room, well, what we have is a big pyramid candle because we know the power of pyramids this is my pyramid wish keeper so whenever i have a wish i put it here it's the the wish keeper then of course the bell that i always use for uh cleansing you know the bad energies or frequencies and of course a bottle of alcohol because when i'm doing certain rituals i'm going to use alcohol as a uh, how can I say for the element of fire now talking about fire here we have this beautiful uh, it's not an antique but it's a it means something basically in the Bolivian culture so this is basically of the uh, the Tiawanaku culture and we have this um, where I burn my candles I try not to burn it too much because I want to keep it I think it's so beautiful it's made by hand and it's made in clay here I have some souvenirs of different travels that I've, I've done um, on top here, there's some DVDs and things like that, um, that are more documentary type of things. Here we have more books uh, that we can find. We have one of my favorites here, which is The Alchemist. I love The Alchemist. We have uh, Edgar Tolle, The Power of Now. We have The Ways of a Superior Man. We have Womb Wisdom, Sacred Relationships, just all of the beautiful books that have really marked me the complete conversations with god with neil donald walsh obviously now here i like to keep um in this beautiful pyramid my palo santo and my sage so whenever i need some palo santo to bring in the good vibes you know i just go here i also keep the eight books of the eight sacred holy days the wheel of the year here so that whenever we're going through this phase of the of the year, I take out the book and I bring it in my bedroom and I can read it and go through it, look at different rituals, recipes even, and different things to do. So I like to keep that here. Now, here in the drawers, we have all of the extras. Normally I keep, you know, incense and candles mostly in the altar that you've probably already watched the video but here i like to keep some extra so let's say here we have some extra incense we have some dried lavender uh, we have other different little things here then we have the extra candles drawer where i keep a lot of candles i like to keep a lot of candles here so we have that right here and in the other drawers we have especially like scrapbooking things and little things like that that i, I also like to you know, use whenever I'm hosting something. I like to create little handmade type of things for guests and things like that. Now, let's move on here in the meditation room. This is more of my um, gardening section. So right outside here, or all around here in my penthouse, we have the terrace, which is a very, very big terrace. Right now, it's not as pretty outside because it's end of winter, beginning of spring. This is when it looks the worst really. But here in the back, usually I have my garden, right? So this is why it's very close to the garden. So I like to keep all of my garden things. Also down, uh, we have a place for towels because the jacuzzi, the spa, the hot tub is right outside. So, uh, you know, when we come back after an evening in the jacuzzi, we come in and there's some towels that are ready 
for us. In this little basket, I like to keep all of my gardening extras. So, you know, the shoes that I use for gardening and the little uh, tools that I use for my gardening, that's what I keep here. Now, let's move on to the copper pyramid. I, when I moved here, one of the first things that I looked for was a copper pyramid from India. And I ordered this online and it's straight from India. It's made of 100% copper. And this is just a great place to meditate and to just, you know, start your days. This is one of the things you, with my meditation room is I love to come here at the beginning of the day before the sun rises, right? So before the sun rises to sit here and then to watch the sunrise, I mean, it's just perfect and beautiful. Under, I have my pretty little chakra carpet. I've had this carpet uh, since my previous home in my condo where everything started. And many of you have seen, you know, the videos that we filmed there. I've had this uh, chakra uh, kind of, how can I call it? Yoga mat, but not really yoga mat. It's more like a cover. Uh, here we have the triple moon. Of course, we have the beautiful triple moon that is right here. Now let's move on more on this side of the uh, meditation room. Here I have a beautiful fountain. Right now it's not on, but usually I like to have it on, you know, for for water, the element of water. Under here we have some covers that I like to keep for when it's cold and I'm sitting in my little bench. Um, and then this is the wall, okay? This is the wall that I really, really enjoy and love, which is the goddess wall. So here we have the goddess timeline, which this is basically a recollection of the evidence that was found throughout the world that shows that we lived in matriarchal societies and times for thousands of years prior to patriarchy. So we've been living in a patriarchal society for 6,000 years. And prior to that, people didn't believe in a God, you know, the same way that now all religions, they have a God, right? Well, back then there were different types of religions, but it was more a goddess that people believed in. It was the creatress, right? It was the creator of life back then before, you know, before uh, uh, science existed, the concept of paternity didn't even exist. People didn't know that women were getting pregnant because they had sex with a man. They just thought that, oh my God, this being is magical and the belly is growing and oh my God, she's given life, right? So it was the goddess, the creator, she was the one. So uh, this is just the all the evidence, archeological, anthropological evidence of the goddess timeline, which started 25,000 years prior to, to, to the common era. Here we have more evidence of an old Europe up in Canaan and Mesopotamia, we have in Egypt, you know, it was all over the world that people worshiped the goddess, right? Uh, so that's what we have here. Then here we have some souvenirs from Bolivia, of course. This is what people, especially, you know, um, Aboriginal people, that's the, the instruments that they're going to play with. So of course, I'm, I always like to keep this. This is something, I think it's the most special thing that we have here in my meditation room. Uh, it's my grandpa's uh, guitar. He used to always play guitar. He used to love playing guitar. He used to write songs, which I think is where I get it from because I write a lot of poetry. So I guess, I don't know, I guess it's in the genes and I, I have it from him. Uh, but yeah, he used to always play his guitar and this, he loved his guitar and I love it now very much, even if I don't play now, but I'm, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn. Then also I forgot about my beautiful wood pyramids that I love. Up here I can just keep all my little crystals. I think it's kind of cute, right? It's a nice place to organize things. I really love it. Uh, here we have the altar. Now, of course, I'm not going to go through this altar because we already have a full video on it. So you can simply go and watch that video to see what's in these little drawers, you know, all these secret little passages everywhere. You can go and watch that video. And now we're almost, almost at the end of our meditation room tour. Here we have the Sri, Ran Sri Yantra, I'm sorry for the pronunciation, which is a sacred symbol that represents, uh, it's really a powerful spiritual symbol. So of course I had to find an image of it and then I got it, you know, in this beautiful, uh, how can I say? Well, this, this made it a beautiful art, you know, in this beautiful frame. I also framed this. So I like to really find things that I'm gonna frame and create myself, you know, and have for myself. And then of course we have the bench. The bench where I get to, you know, relax, where I get to come in the morning to start my days. It's always, I think, a great way to come and read. I have some books always here, of course, that are ready for some reading. And that's that, that's my meditation room. So here you go, 
Did you like my meditation room? Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed it, perhaps what's your favorite part, and how will you create your own? It doesn't need to be a whole meditation room, but your own sacred space. I think that that's what matters, to have a space that is for you, a space where you can go and spend time with yourself. You can go and read, meditate, pray, you know, just, you know, connect to something higher than yourself. Let me know in the comment section if this video inspired you to create your own space. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it, to share with all of your friends, and of course to subscribe for new episodes every week here on Alexandra TV and I will be seeing you very very soon